Now this job was actually a fair bit harder and more time consuming than expected, but is easily manageable as a DIYer. So first things first, I need to remove the spare wheel so that I can access the original spare wheel carrier. I now have to remove the aluminium door liner by drilling out all these rivets. I removed the rear wiper motor too, as the previous owner obviously decommissioned it and removed the wiper on. I do quite like the cleaner look without the rear wiper, so it isn't something I'm worried about putting back on there. I'm now just removing the bolts that hold on the original wheel carrier. I won't need to fill any of these holes because the new wheel carrier will be using the same ones. It's now time to finally open the new wheel carrier and whenever I unbox anything I always put each part aside and just make sure that everything's in there because there has been occasions where I've received parts and there's been pieces missing from inside the box. So it's now finally time to start the installation. As already mentioned, the holes do align perfectly with the original spare wheel carrier. There's one hole directly in the centre. That side needs to be on the bottom. I did find that the holes on the rear cross member aren't actually big enough to take the bolts, so I did have to drill them a little bit bigger. Now for the top bracket, you do have to do some drilling into the defender body. You first have to drill out one of the rivets and then fit the bracket into place and then mark up where the second hole needs to be drilled. There's a plate that goes on the inside of the vehicle for the top hinge. This just makes it a little bit stronger. Just to make you aware that I did actually fully tighten all these bolts before moving on to the next part of the installation. It's just I didn't include this footage because I felt like it was dragging out a bit too long. Now the wheel carrier can be slid on from the left hand side across um, into the hinges and then we can just bolt it into the hinges. Now for some reason the instructions did say to put this bolt in upside down like I did but I decided to flip it over and put it the correct way around because I felt that it just looked a lot neater this way. Now it's just a case of fitting the spare wheel back onto the wheel carrier. I did find that I needed to put a bit of a spacer in behind the spare wheel because it was pulling the alloy wheel towards the door as opposed to sitting flush against the new wheel holder. Now having this wheel carrier on the back does allow me to access the handle a lot easier so that's great um, this little bit of extra space has been very handy because it was a very fiddly job to get in the back door originally. The one thing I did pick up on when installing this is that the third bolt on the bottom hinge did not fit at all so what I have to do is get a bigger drill bit and drill out the hole all the way through um, on the cross member 
and then hopefully I can install this at a later date. The door does open much easier now. It feels a lot more solid and it doesn't feel like the door's hanging on for its life anymore. So do recommend getting one of these if you do have a wheel on the back of your Defender. Obviously you don't want to cause any extra harm or damage to the door or its hinges. So this is a good workaround for that.